Hello viewers and subscribers, welcome to another tutorial. Now for today's lesson, we'll be looking at pseudocode. Now what is a pseudocode? Now this is an algorithm that resembles a real programming language of a computer. Basically guys, it mimics the real programming language of a computer, right? So let us look at our first question. Now, this question requires us to write an algorithm that reads the length and width of a rectangle and find its area. So let us look at the solution. The first thing that we'll need to do is to introduce a name for the program. And we will call this program era, followed by prompting the user to enter the length the rectangle then will accept the length from the user followed by asking the prompting the user or asking the user to enter the width of the rectangle then accept the width from the user so now we will do the calculation and just as how you would do the calculation in mathematics where you'd have area equal to length times width it's just the same when we're doing program whether we're using the pseudocode method or we're using the flowchart method or also the pascal method all right so now we'll have area equal to length times width and remember guys we cannot use the multiplication sign that you you would use in mathematics to multiply always in the variable there we would no need to use an asterisk so that's what we use when we're doing the program. use the asterisk and finally we will print the result so we'll print the area of the rectangle is followed by the variable area so that therefore means whatever value is stored in the variable area there it will be print on the screen along with the message the area of the rectangle is so Take for instance the error of the rectangle was on the screen you would have the error of the rectangle is 50. So right, let's move on. So this question requires us to write an algorithm that reads in two numbers and find their total. So likewise, with the first question we have to introduce a name for the program and we will call this program total followed by prompting the user to enter the first number and we will introduce a variable to store the first number and we will call this variable num1 all right so we accept num1 followed by prompting the user to enter a second number and we introduce a variable called num2 which will store the value of the second number so let's look at the formula now so it have sum equal to num1 plus num2 that therefore means the value in num1 plus the value in num2 total there so what we print on the screen is the total is sum so whatever value is stored in sum as i mentioned before with the previous example would be printed on the screen along with the message here which is in double quotation marks. so let's look at the third and final question for this lesson Write an algorithm that reads in the radius of a circle and find and print its area. So we name this program area of a circle and we also prompt the user to enter the radius of a circle followed by accepting the radius of a circle. Now we know in mathematics that to find the area of a circle is pi r square, right? So let us represent that now in an algorithm or what it will look like when we're doing an algorithm instead of doing it in mathematics so you'd have era equal to the 3.142 which represent pi times radius times radius now guys we cannot put r square or radius square in the program so that therefore means we have to multiply radius by itself two times that's why we have radius multiply by radius there finally we print the result so the area of the circle is followed by 
whichever value is stored in the variable here right here. Now, thanks for watching, guys, and stay tuned for another tutorial. And remember to like, share, and subscribe, and leave a comment in the section below. Thank you very much.